fellow foodies, and welcome to another at home cooking edition of Food with the Fox. Now, today I'm going to be whipping up one of my uh, favourite meals to cook at home. This is a quick meal, but it doesn't sacrifice in flavour. This thing absolutely rocks. Um, it's a little bit of a hack in it, so stay posted and I'll show you how it's done. So, today we're going to be making uh, shredded beef and imperial sauce. Sometimes they call it crispy peking beef. Uh, depends on where you get it from, um, but it's one of my Chinese restaurant favourites and really, really simple to, to, to whip up, especially with this little hack that I've got here. Um, what you're going to need, you're going to need about 800 grams of thinly sliced uh, strips of rump, beef rump. Uh, you need some oil for frying. You need a jar of the Canton sweet and sour sauce. You need some just normal barbecue sauce, any barbecue sauce that you got there. Some soy sauce, some baking soda, some crushed garlic, crushed ginger, and some corn flour. Oh yeah, nearly forgot. You're gonna need some red wine vinegar and some caster sugar as well. The first step to this one, um, now I've already had this marinating, but you wanna cut your uh, rump steak into strips about so big. You want to mix that all together in a bowl with about two tablespoons of the soy, about a teaspoon of the baking powder and a teaspoon and a half each of the garlic and the ginger. And once you've got all those ingredients mixed up in a bowl, what we're going to do is just cover it with some cling wrap and we're going to put it in the fridge. You want to at least put it in there for two hours. Overnight works the best. But as you can see, I've had this one in for around about, oh, it's about four hours now, marinating. And that is nearly ready to rock and roll. It's time to start making the sauce for this dish. So what you want to do is get your Canton sweet and sour sauce jar. And through a strainer into a medium saucepan. You just want to strain that out and get rid of all those crap veggies that are in there. And once you've strained out all the veggies, you're just left with the, the sauce itself. And we're gonna use that as a base to build on to create our sweet, sticky sauce to go on our steak, our crispy beef. All right, so just bring the uh, sauce up to a little bit of a, a boil there. So it's bubbling away. Add about two tablespoons of the red wine vinegar. We're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of Cast the sugar, give it a little bit of a stir, make sure that sugar is melted right through there. Then we're going to add a good splash of the uh, barbecue sauce. Mix it up, as I said, make sure everything's all melted through. And we'll go on to the next step of the sauce. Now at this point, you just want to give it a bit of a taste and see where you're at. Mm. That is actually nearly spot on. So back your heat right off to a low heat. And we just want to continue to cook this down a little bit just so it thickens up and becomes a little bit more uh, thicker in consistency. So when we pour it over that crispy beef, it's going to be nice and rich and clings to that beef. I'm actually just going to add another little swig of the vinegar there. We really want that sweet and sour effect. Now the sauce has been simmering away for a bit of time now and as you can see it's, it's thickened up a bit and that's exactly what we want. Grab your marinated beef, and what you want to do is just coat that in corn flour. So do a couple of good handfuls at a time. Get that covered really well. It's going to form a nice crispy outer coating for our crispy shredded beef. Once you've got your beef Strips covered in a nice layer of corn flour. It's time to fry them up in the wok. 
I've got the oil set up in my wok at about, about it's sitting probably about 190 degrees. So what I want to do is just small batches of this beef in the oil. Just so you keep good temperature in the oil. And you want to fry them off for probably around about four minutes at a time each batch. Okay, so that first batch has been frying off for around about four minutes. So out of the wok and onto a uh, plate with some paper towel, let that drain off and we'll do the next batch and we'll take it from there. Time to put it all together. So in the heated wok, put the beef in, add in your Oh. And you want to serve this as fresh as you can. Keep that crispiness of the beef. You just flick that through. Oh. I wish you guys could smell this, but I'm sure you're going to make it so you'll know what it's like anyway. Mmm. -mm. Here it is all plated up. Sprinkle a few sesame seeds on for some garnish. Serve it with a bit of fried rice. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Ooh. Mm. Oh, God, seriously. That is absolutely sensational. You've got to try this. Make sure you do it. Do it for your friends, do it for your family. Everyone's gonna be like blown away by this dish. <clears throat> it's better than the actual Chinese restaurant. I guarantee it. So thanks again guys for coming along to another episode of Food with a Fox. As always, if you like the video, hit like. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time there's food involved. Yeah.